823, welcome back to BT. Just getting into it with Jeff Element, president uh, of the Travel Corporation Canada, because we're talking about this idea of knowing before you go all of these customs. Uh, culturally, there are so many around the world to uh, respect, appreciate, but uh, we need to know the list beforehand. Absolutely, and great day to plan out your next trip. Uh, you know, get out and see the world, understand what's uh, what's out there, uh, what we can uh, enjoy, and, and really get that time away so that we come back rejuvenated and energized. And of course, do it as respectfully as possible. So we're going to give you the website after all said and done when we roll through because you brought uh, a bunch of photos here and some ideas. So let's start here. If you're traveling in uh, the Vatican, um, uh, wardrobe appropriate attire here. Religious travel is uh, an important part of travel for many people you want to make sure you get into all the sites so for women you know if you go to the Vatican you need to have a skirt or a dress below, below the knees uh, you know you just have to make sure that you're not going to be excluded from things and, and miss out on one of those you know must-see destinations or must-see experiences when it comes to something like a tire how offensive can it be and can there be fines of that nature or is it just you will be blocked from the area you'll be blocked and and that's unfortunate you know you may have thought about going to the Vatican for many many years or or example you go to Turkey and you want to go to the blue mosque it's an iconic everybody's seen pictures of it you know if you don't have women don't have a head covering they're not gonna be allowed to go in so you know it'd be a very it'd be a shame to come back from a vacation and say I wished I had and you know chances of going back to that destination again you know maybe take many years right all right some simple ideas to do the uh, homework beforehand uh, feeding the animals the pigeons in fact what about Venice what's the deal here love st. Mark's Square in particular at night some of my favorite travel memories are from st. Mark's Square uh, but if you feed the pigeons you you know they're uh, you'll get a fine and you know you don't want to be spending the the whole time on vacation worrying about you know paying for these extra things and uh, you know taking away from enjoying that actual destination okay and you know it, as we jump over to Israel the coverings and the Tire also key here. Yeah, again, uh, religious travel is important for a lot of people, so you want to make sure that uh, you know men have to have something, uh, have to have head covering. Uh, women, there are certain parts of the the wailing wall that you have to go to. Their shoulders need to be covered. Those sorts of things. And again, you don't want to be excluded, so you want to make sure you you do that research beforehand. You know, you take the stuff with you. Uh, in Canada, we have a wonderful website, uh, travel.gc.ca. Uh, it will give you tons and tons of information about the country you're going to, the customs making sure that you know you don't insult people while you're there either you know you want to make the most out of your time you also don't want to spend a day feeling bad because you insult, insulted your new friends that you've made in the destination and travel.gc.ca we'll put that key up in a second that is a great comprehensive list of it all food etiquette also important and when you go to China Japan there are so many terrific options to explore oh, something new yeah I mean in Canada we're lucky we have so many cultures here so we get to experience the little pieces of the the culture the food but when you go to that destination you want to try new things but you also don't want to insult anybody when you're there or or to uh, offend anybody uh, chops chopsticks standing up in your bowl of rice kids often do that to make fun uh, but really that's uh, you know a symbol for incense for uh, honoring the dead and and be offensive to someone if you're traveling in Japan or China so you want to avoid those sorts of things that's a good one to look out for and so is the public displays of affection in culturally sensitive areas in India yeah it's one that you know might not necessarily know about so you know if you're traveling with a, a group uh, you know have local guides they will help you and make sure you avoid those sorts of things and you should always listen to them you know guided vacation is a great way to make the most out of your time uh, and money uh, so you, you know travel with a group they'll help you they'll avoid you know the sites uh, that that will be be extra sensitive or get you into the sites and explain to you how to enjoy them and get the most out of those sites okay quickly just want to jump to the last one because I think we can all relate to the idea if you go into a restaurant or at the hotel tipping how does tipping work when tipping, you're traveling tipping is one of the, the ones that I always find uh, difficult because you know different parts of the world we come from uh, you know it's a different understanding of what tipping is in Japan you know it's, no tipping is uh, expected if you go to Turkey the one I've been to Turkey twice last year love the country it was a fabulous destination nation uh, for them you know tipping in paper money is fine tipping in coins is actually an insult beggars on the street would accept coins and you know you're thanking someone with a tip so you don't want to be giving them coins and inadvertently uh, insulting them so again something to read about before you go or travel with a group and you'll have someone explain that to you so you don't insult your your new best friends Jeff great insight so again that website travel.gc.ca Jeff from the Travel Corporation Canada thanks so much for coming by thank you very much